Then the panel. This is very, very important to understand the concept of panel. Okay, so the panel here can be used to group a set of components as a single composite components. So what is meant by single composite components? For example, we have three buttons. Okay, so now we want to put these three buttons under the panel. So that means these three buttons together we consider as a single component. We call this a single composite components. Okay, so using the panel we can do these things. Okay, the panel can be then inserted as a single unit along with other components. So that means this is the other components, but three button, once you declare as panel, this will be a single composite component, okay? A panel can have its own layout manager, which can differ from the layout managers on of the display. So it can display differently, okay? So we will look at the uh, examples later on, actually, then it will give you the clear idea how panel can be used. Okay, look at this example. How we can use the panel. So the uh, here is the import Java AWT package, then public class my APLN extends frame. So it's coming from the frame. Frame is the parent class and my APLN is the child class. Then we use the public static void many string arguments. And then we create the object and, and then a constructor and then we create a panel here. Look at here, panel. Okay, so panel, panel. Then we create the object of the panel. Okay, new panel. Okay, now look at here. We're going to use the panel. P dot set layout. Now inside the panel, we are going to use the grid layout. Okay, so we define here how many rows, how many columns, two rows, two columns, horizontal gap and the vertical gap. Look at here. Okay, we have, this is the panel now, okay? We create already two columns, two columns and two rows, right? And this is the gap, horizontal and vertical gap. Okay, now we need to add. So what do we need to add here? Maybe we think about, we're going to add the button component inside that, this panel using the grid layout, okay? So we need to use the command p.add new button first, first button, for example, this one. Then this is the second button. This is the third button. This is the fourth button. So this add into the panel. And then after that, look at here. We use this one, M dot. What is M? What is M? M is the, the object of my APLN. M dot add new level, level one. So we put the level one. This is the level one, right? Then we have to add inside the, inside the, the frame P, right? Inside the panel, this is the panel, right? Inside the panel at P, level one. Okay, next level two, this is the level two, right? And then after that, it will show. Okay, show, it will show you. Then after that, you look at here, set layout. Of course, you have to, uh, my app, you have to run the constructor. Ah, then once you run this constructor, it will run this all these commands, right? Layout, flow layout, so it will create the flow layout. Then the set the size of the window is that. 400 by 400, and then it will, it will put the frame title, title of the frame, my Java frame. So you understand the concept, the four elements, right? The button we consider as the single composite elements using the panel. So I hope you understand, I hope you understand the concept of panel and how to use the panel. Next, okay, look at the graphical user interface. The first one, uh, we call that, this is the button. Okay, you create the button here, and uh, display the graphical interface components. Second one is the level. Then third one is the text field, look at here. And this one is the checkbox. And this one is the uh, radio button, okay? And then uh, this one is the choice, drop down menu. Okay, so you understand this one now? Go to the level first, okay? First, um, basically the level is display the uh, text information. We call the textual information. And you cannot be edited. You cannot edit this one, the level, okay? And uh, it responds to user interactions through any event used by the component. And the method used basically in the level, uh, we call the one is the set text, uh, get text, 
set background color and also set font. Okay, so look at here. Uh, this is the level, so we can use the uh, level uh, class, create the object, and we put the level welcome. And then we can add, you see, add which location, maybe north location of the, the layout. So add in the north location of the layout. Okay, next. Okay, button. So button contains the label. Look at here, the button contains the label. And this is basically uh, similarly response to user interactions by the uh, interface action listener. So it will use the action listener uh, to make the, you know, the action. Okay. It will send an event object of type action event uh, to the method action perform. That will, in that case, uh, we are going to use also the action event and throw the object and we call the method, we call the action perform, right? And the method used here, uh, set level and the get level. Okay, look at here, button, we create button and click here, then we add the button, then you can see there. Okay, the click here. Okay, I hope you understand uh, how you can actually create the button. Okay, next is the text field. Okay, so basically in the text field, uh, that contains a single line of editable text. That means you can edit, okay? And also this is response to user interactions. And here, the send event object of type, we call the text event, to the method they use, in that case, is the text value change. And the method used for the uh, text field is set text. You can set the text and also you can get the text. You look at here, a text field, create the object new, text field and this is the 10 what is mean by 10 that will show you the 10 character space right if you put 15 it will show you the 15 character space and you add of course you have to add the text field add then t the object so it will add it will show you like this okay and so i hope you understand the concept of text field how you can create and how you can add next in the text area that is editable and that contains multiple lines, okay? And this is also we, we're going to use uh, in the text area. Um, there are two methods is there. One is the insert text and replace the text. You can insert the text and also you can replace the text. Okay, look at here. This is the text area. So how can you, how you define the text area? The, you, you create the object uh, from the text area class, then new text 5, 10. What is 5, what is 10? Okay. Five rows, one, two, three, four, five. Five rows, ten columns. Ten columns is the ten characters from here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the actually ten characters, ten columns. We call the ten columns. Then we add five rows and ten columns. Then of course you need to use the add function to add the text area. Okay, I hope you understand the concept of text area. Next, checkbox. Okay, so the checkbox is re uh, represented by a small square box. Look at here, a small square box here. Either checked up or unchecked. Either this is checked or unchecked, okay? So each checkbox can have independent Boolean step. True or false, if true, it's checked. If false, is unchecked, right? Then, of course, this is used the interface item listener, okay? And then, of course, it's used the event item, okay? And the method item state change. The method used to set the level, uh, we call the set level for the checkbox and set state and also the get state. If you look at here, checkbox C, right? One, two, and three. Basically one, two, three actually. Yeah, but we show here one. So it should be one, two, and check. This is checked, this two is checked. All right. Next, radio button. Okay, so radio button, it is basically a group of check boxes um, with the property that only one can be set at a time. That means only one you can choose. This is a set of elements is there, but you can choose only one. For example, it's one, two, and three. From here, you can only choose one. So to group 
a set of checkbox into one logical group. So this is basically a logical group into one logical group, but there are several checkboxes there. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to create an object of the class checkbox group. You need to create the checkbox group first. Then uh, each of the checkbox you need to create to so specify the checkbox group in the constructor. That means once you create the checkbox group, it's CG. Look at here. Then new checkbox group, right? Now next, each of the component checkbox C1. Okay, then new checkbox, first one is one. Then of course you need to use the group CG. False is not selected. Okay, next one checkbox, next component C2. New checkbox two, look at here two. CG is the group checkbox object CG, comma true is selected, you see is selected. And the last one is a checkbox C3. Okay, checkbox, then three, CG, you need to use the uh, object of the uh, group checkbox, checkbox group, then comma false, not selected. Okay, so I hope you understand the, the how you can actually set the radio button, that is the group checkbox. And here, uh, you can actually define whether it's checked or not. If you put uh, the option false, all will be unchecked. If you uh, use true, that, that because they use the boolean function, that will be selected. Okay.